Oh, I wanted to share a little vlog of a, something I was thinking about, something that is pretty cool. Uh, well, it, it's been entertaining me of late, and it's Homeland. The show on, uh, our, our <laughs> I really don't know what channel it's on, sorry. I, I think I remember stars at the front, but... I don't know. But it is amazing. Like, if you watch the news at all, like, uh, like uh, I'm not really uh, uh, talking about local news, but if you're, like, uh, you know, watch that crazy shit on it... <laughs> <laughs> on MSNBC or or CNN or or uh, CBSN, like you really can't get Fox News anywhere. I I wonder why that is. Why would they keep all Fox News behind paywalls? Like, what's the point in that? That's pretty interesting. Like, uh, I can't even consume their content. Like, what the hell? So anyways, but if you watch Homeland with Carrie Matheson and uh, Saul Berenson, like Saul, he's a model railroader. <sighs> he's got a nice beard. I want to meet that guy sometime. I really do get, hope to, I get to meet that guy someday. But anyways, that's off the topic. He's, he's my favorite character, and I always feel sad in the whole conflict between uh, Carrie Matheson and him because they have like this... Uh, you know, a uh, mentor, uh, daughter kind of uh, relationship, you know? And it's great to see that kind of interaction on TV. I love it! And over the years, Homeland has fooled me like crazy. Like, I'm talking about... I never get... I, don't, I feel like I never get fooled like this, but when... It comes out the first season, and, and I think it was the third season, like, I was just like, whoa, oh my gosh, is that even possible? Eh. No, it's not, it's fiction, but it's so close to real life right now. And that's an, an actual remarkable thing, like, you hear about art imitating life, and life imitating art, and... The juxtaposition of Homeland, the TV show, and watching the news today is like crazy. Like because if you watch Homeland this season, which is totally appropriate to modern day popular culture or popular information, uh, it's amazing. Like, the writers, like, did this last year. <laughs> and, and it's like there's a female president, so it's like they thought the other person was going to go, but they had the same idea. Because does it all change in the background, right? Like, it's interesting to see how appropriate it is for Trump when it was actually written for Clinton. What in the hell? <laughs> what in the actual fuck? Art imitating life. That's crazy. It's a really good show. Great job to the writers of the show. Uh, this is my favorite. Talk to you later, my friends.